Okay, welcome back to the last Titans talk show. We're still sort of carrying on with the uh, beef and then and then we'll probably go on a tangent about something else. Um, let's get going. I know Chrome and I know Dev want to speak because Dev didn't get a chance to speak last time and Chrome's got a little story for us. So uh, if them two, one of them two want to start jumping in and then we'll see where we go. Trolling and beefing in battle rap. We've covered a bit of it about sort of how far should you take it? How personal is too personal? You know, should you be bringing up dead relatives, wives, children in rap? You know, it's debatable. Some things that we said, if you can put it off well and it, you've murdered the opponent, maybe. But if you pulled it off shit and you just, you're just grabbing at angles and just, you know, all that shit, just to try and fucking get a win. Lots of other shit about people snaking each other. So people find out personal information, confidence. And then, you know, your mates, then you battle, and then all of a sudden they use this fucking personal shit you told them, which weren't, you know what I mean? It's, it's not supposed to be known, and they fucking air it out just for the win, just for the win, just for the win on that battle, and you end up losing mates and shit. Over, I think everyone's lost some friends at some point due to battle rap, where someone's just taking it too far, and you're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. Actually, all right. Well, since you bring it up like that, I got two things to talk about. So I'm going to I'll talk about one thing. And this is Dev didn't get to go. I'll let him go. And then if I get another chance, I'll go ahead and tell you all about the main story. Yeah. But speaking on like battle rap beefing and getting into it and losing a mate over it. There's a dude named Stray Dog the Illis. Rest in peace. That was my brother in this shit. Now, for the sake to keep the drama down, I'm not going to name said name for this one because the beef is not there anymore in my heart. I hope it's not there in his, but not to rekindle it. I'm just not going to say names. But there was another dude that Stray knew that he introduced me to on a personal at the crib level instead of just battle rap level that was rapping, went through a lot of depression in his life was actually getting a lot of numbers. Like when he would drop a song and music video, he'd get like 20,000 views the first 24 hours. But he's falling out of love with that shit. Depression was eating his ass up. So me and Stray gave him battle rap. We taught him everything he knows about battle rap. From the time he'd wake up to the time he would be ready to start drinking after work and go to sleep, this motherfucker was battling one of us. Long story short, we brought him to a battle league, got him in the door, and immediately when he got a different crew of individuals around him in his ear, he turned on us. And it ended up me jumped in the hospital by somebody I helped just create, all because of battle rap politics. Yeah, I think everyone's experienced that at some point where you've introduced someone into it. And then they get like in, get in with the other people, they start chatting with other people, and they're not, they're not fucking answering your texts and like talking like what the fuck but like, no i mean i brought you into it why are you fucking doing that back there's a lot of that and the bad part is during the time of me bringing him into it bro he's watched me go through bullshit with the people that got in his ear and at the end of the day he ended up standing with them he and the not standing with me and the bad part is it wasn't even a Bro, I brought you into this stand with me shit. I didn't even tell him where to stand. I said, be a grown-ass man. You do what you do. People chase clout, man, and don't know what real loyalty is, man. It's That's kind of that's sad, bro. You will know if people are loyal. I think when, you, when you're going through shit and, you know, you, you go stop everyone, you just, you're going to hell. The, the people will actually reach out, even if it's just like, you know what? No, I mean, they're the people you know what are there. Yeah, I mean, he's oh, saying shit. on a personal level, like, he taught him how to battle rap, basically. I mean, that's a little different, man. Like, you got a relationship with somebody like that. And he basically sold him out for nothing, except he tried to get farther in his career, like, or whatever it was, maybe, you know? That's and pretty that much it. That's what we talked on on the first episode, we were saying about that, people. Uh, like, no, I mean, they just going to win. win. For an yeah. online battle, not even a like, they're snaking you for an online battle win. And you're like, nothing to not, I mean, not to take anything away from online battle, I only do online battle. But you know, no, but no, like, I understand that. You know I mean? still, like, uh, really, like, I've known you for like two years, we chatted, we've been rapping. 
you know, we get matched up. I thought, oh, it'll be a good little thing. And then we Cam, know, like, fucking Cam, what was the reasoning for you getting jumped? I mean, did he spread like bullshit about you or no? The shit behind the getting jumped shit, I still to this day don't understand that shit, bro. Because it stemmed to an argument. We had an argument at one point because long story short, on after he had his tryout with the league, I brought up. And I'm, I'm glad we're doing it the way we're doing it because I, I told the story that started listening to y'all talk. I was like, damn, I didn't give no kind of context. Um, long story short, uh, during his motherfucking run in battle rap, when he first started, he did his gauntlet, got in through the gauntlet, and the person he beat in the gauntlet got through the gauntlet because they did good enough as well. So the next card, they battled at the opening of the card. Battle took forever to start. And back then, I'm going to be real, Chrome used to get fucked up. <laughs> I ended up getting on a couple perks, a couple triple triple stack X pills, and Ooh. a whole bunch of brown liquor. I was biting oh, down hard. Shit. So when my people were battling, I'm in the background doing stupid shit like Hulk Hogan poses and <laughs> Macho Man voices after the bars and shit. And oh. usually the shit sells when I do that shit. And when the new dude went, my homeboy that we raised in the battle rap, basically, when he went, he did it, and it did. It made his round harder than what it really was and got him the battle, and he let the people get in his hair because they didn't like me doing that. They felt like that was gas in the crowd, and in a way, it kind of was because they're like, oh, this dude on stage getting crunk. What are we getting crunk, too? Fuck it. You see yeah. what I'm saying? There, there's no rule against that, though. I mean, like... There's no rule saying you can't have height. Man. Height, man. Oh, That's the thing. I've seen that before. When nobody look at battles, I'm like, the person's but, work because they got more of their own mates in the crowd. Like, like live events. Mm -hmm. you look at Shit, them. people tag their homies in and they do half a round for them these days. That's a common yeah. factor. I mean, yeah. if, you're to previous, if you can go to like, if you've got a local rapper and you go to his, his place, his state, where he is, where he's got his fans, everyone knows him. He can make all the local references. If you go there and you can kill him and it shows, like, you know what I mean? I don't have to fucking... You know what, though? It's like, like, all right, I'm out in Cleveland, right? And we have a couple battlers out here that can't rap worth a shit, okay? But we'll bring two busloads of people. Hmm. And they will get gassed the entire time. And they will look like the winner because they're bringing in revenue. Yep. You and the I'm sad saying? part, and the sad part, as long as they do that, they will never improve as an MC ever. They'll never, they'll improve never, MC. they'll never be kidding. able to enjoy the culture in its purest form ever. No, because they're going to keep getting booked, and nobody's going to say a word to them because they're bringing in money. Right, let me um, let me bring Dev into because Dev's been like patiently waiting in the library for like. <laughs> let let me finish up the what? Let me finish up with what Rich asked real quick. And you said what led up to me getting jumped. They tried to say that I fucked his footage up when we all seen the footage and it was perfect. Like it was, it made it seem like he had an instant classic on his first battle. And it got in his ear and he's like, yo, bro, what the fuck on Facebook for like a day and a half about me fucking his footage up, bitching about the shit. I'm like, bro, you wouldn't fucking be here if I didn't get you here. I'm sorry if I fucked your footage up, but this shouldn't be that big of a fucking deal because I gave you this culture to do. Yeah, but what was that? What and this is an online just kept trolling thing. and trolling and trolling and trolling until I said, you know what, bro? You know where the fuck I live at. If it's that serious, see me. And the motherfucker rode around the neighborhood and caught me walking with three people and jumped up. Do, 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 do. And it was over. And shortly after, I got blackballed. That's a different story. <laughs> you have to say that on the next one. <laughs> I'm intrigued, man. You can change names, but I still want to be intrigued. Dev, jump in because you've been more patient okay. for a long time. <laughs> like, um, okay. I'm, I'm going to start with, 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 with something similar and everything since my boy Chrome was on a topic like that and everything. Like, okay. There's a guy named Daniel. I forget, I forget his last name. Um, but took him under my wing. He he would hit me up 
I met him through Beverly, met him online, whatever, and, and the kid had potential. He, he could rap, whatever. I would throw him in a couple groups, whatever, and, and I was training him, mentoring him. I was helping him with mad shit or whatever, and he, he, he was so stoked about, you know, wanting to meet one day and playing bam. Now, I'm thinking, okay, this, this kid could be a nice little, you know, nice little thing for, 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 for the team. I'm sorry. Hmm? Just an asset, you know what I mean? I'm mean, sorry. Yeah. You use little later on. Yeah, definitely. So, like, as it start going, he start, you know, getting back into music, start killing. I inter- introduced him to, to a guy named Greg Long and everything. And Greg Long had radio stations and podcasts, and he was helping him whatever. And then I said, bump it. So I, I had a trip to Bradford, PA. And um, he didn't live too far from Bradford, PA. So I was like, okay, well, look, I'm going to Bradford, PA or whatever, and you don't live too far from there. If you're able to, we link up. And we just do this music thing in person for a little bit. You said you wanted to meet anyway, whatever. And when bam, so I go out there. It take him like a month to get there, but he finally gets there. Then in person, this kid wanted to do so many drugs, so many pills, party all the time. I was like, oh, he ain't, he ain't trying to do no music or battle rap like I thought. That was just his online persona or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then I go down. I'm chilling with him one night. Come and I'm saving him like he he is getting his ass kicked, getting jumped by by just starting shit every chance he get. I saved him whatever, and then I just end up giving up on the shit. And then when I gave up and I, and I going back in town and left him, he started trashing me. He wanted to betray me. He wanted to do 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 the most. He he was robbing people. He was um getting people's cash apps that that I knew, and just like you know um yeah. <laughs> Yeah, make, get, get his own cut or whatever, and then not even paying them back. And then he fucked up a lot of business for me. But eventually, I just, I, I cut him off, and, and I told everybody else, too. You get people like that. Just in, not even about, just in life, you will get leeches. You will get someone, like, they latch on to you. And if they, like I mean, they'll get involved in all your shit, all your friends, all your shit, and then they just fuck you up. And you have to, know, like, you get to that point where you have to keep apologizing for him, like, oh, sorry, like, you know, he's new, he's just like that. And then you get to the point, it's like, my mates are getting pissed off at me because of this case. Like, and you have to actually cut mm-hmm. them off. You have to be like, look, look. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, cool when I met you. You were all cool. And then like, I brought you, I'll bring you in, I'll meet you, and then I've been a prick. And that's how yeah. I've been multiple, I, you know, I've been in like thousands of group chats and thousands of groups. And and everywhere you go, like, I mean, you, you'll meet someone, they'll be like, oh, you chat away, you get like, and they latch on, you go, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put you into this group. I'll put you in this battle chat group. And they come in and they just cause shit. It's going there, start fucking beefing everyone. You're trying to mediate, and you think, you know what? I don't even know this guy. I don't even know this guy. Fucking. The thing is, too, is that you gotta, you you gotta really take your time with getting to, getting to know who you're surrounding yourself with. Yeah. Oh, you know, like it, I always say, trust your gut, too, man. Like if your gut's telling you something, like try to i mean i know not all the time it won't work like that you know you it, are, it might already be past that option but your gut's telling you like you know if it ain't right it ain't right but like i remember when i first got into battle rap man like i joined up and clicked up with with a squad my first battle and i would i joined wind gang which was actually i mean pretty deep i was with rage rush timeless uh bobby o Chetta, a couple other people um and it's sl- slowly, I didn't know I got myself into a, a group that was deteriorating from the inside because of personal bullshit that was going on. And I got stuck in the middle of it. So yeah, yeah. I, think you know I, I was dealing with people's problems and like, I'm, who am I siding with? And like, it was like bullshit. Like I was like, man, I'm just a rat, bro. You know, and then uh, one of the dudes that actually I stuck by the whole time was, which was Bobby O. Um, was like my brother and then some fucked up shit happened to where uh i mean i haven't really spoke about this publicly too much but um let's just say that he he was doing something he wasn't supposed to and is against the law with a minor Mm. okay um and i got little ones and this dude's at my house all the time and i treated them like family and brought him in and everything else man well the type of things that he had done um and that i had you know, was heard about. And also I could tell he was lying when I approached him, you know, like he just didn't want to speak to me. I, I caught him off and I haven't spoke to him since. And that was like my family. You know? like, 
Corner. Yeah, Bobby. And then you know like, I mean? there's, there's the night I was supposed to go to an event with him, he got he got pistol whipped in the face outside and got got his got his shit beat in. You know, like if I would have been there with my wife and I would have stuck up, who knows if that would have just been a pistol whip. I could have got shot over some shit that he did that I don't approve mm-hmm. of. It was a you know what I'm saying? Like it's but God, something happened that day and it didn't allow me and my wife to go. You know, yeah, so you know, shit shit's crazy how that happens. So like I think it's the thing, I think that's the problem as well. Like sometimes with I mean it's great that like, I love I'm communicating with people all over the world, but you only know like you know what I mean? They're online persona. They're only like you ain't like knowing them in real life. You ain't seeing them every day and seeing their mum, dad, and know their family, their background. You know what I mean, like this is the thing: is sometimes like you can only go on what people were portraying out. Everyone's going to project the image they want you to see. It's only over time that you start seeing the cracks and the foundations, and if they're real or not. You know what I'm saying? When mm-hmm. it when you go through shit, I've been it multiple yeah. times. Like Dev's gone through shit, I've gone through shit, and like we'll reach out to each other. I need to just be like, you like, dude, how's it going? I mean, little things like that, but like, they're the things that Not only that, when though, you, like, you know what I mean? You know who's actually, who's actually your mate and who are just people what are trying to hype you up online or just there to try and get you to look at their shit. So many people like frame request you just so they can, you look at the share their fucking shit and look at their shit. And then you've got other people like I said, like us that will actually talk bollocks you know, like daily. You know, you know what what I mean? fucked up really for me though too is that I didn't even realize this, but like people in the league like that I knew didn't tell me anything and actually held me back and people were not booking me like I should have been booked because of personal problems they had with somebody else and that I was repping wing gang, not knowing any of this. That shit no, like, 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 that. like you know, uh, I was, I've got put into that uh, body bag entertainment or United States for BBE it's called now. And uh, uh, basically, I had this guy, like, I don't really know him. He's just like, oh, I need some people to join our crew. And then I was like, fuck it, why not? You know what I mean? Join yeah. his crew. And then all of a sudden, I'm in the middle of a crew war. <laughs> and, like, I'm fighting these guys. I have no idea who the fuck they right, like, are. And I'm just I wish I would have just stuck to myself when I started, oh, man. Can you do a dish I track against this guy? Like can you do this? Can you do that? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I can, but like, I, I actually quite any, I don't even know who this other crew are. And it was like random. Like, because I've been put into several crews over the time, and people are like, oh, yeah, join my crew. I'm like, all right, whatever. And I'm joining and shit. And then, like, suddenly I'm like pulled into some weird, like, crew wall with like some random people. That's what I'm people. saying. All this outside shit outside the battle rap shouldn't be like an issue. Like, I, like if you want to say some shit inside the ring, do I believe there's boundaries? Yeah, hell yeah. There's be some sort of boundaries. It just it depends on what it is, man. And it depends on if the, how well you know the other person. Now, like, if you go into a battle knowingly, like, hey, I, I'm prepared. I know what this dude's going to say. You're bringing yourself into that. It's battle rap. You're going to have to deal with that shit and fight back in the ring. Okay? But if it's on more of a personal level and there's going to be emotion brought into it, y'all shouldn't be battling. If that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I that, agree with that. There's friendly, there's friendly shit and there's not. So I remember Thomas about this. When uh, I was facing Black Zod, and uh, we, we'd fucking done the freestyle corner, and it come to a draw, and we went to overtime. So we then done overtime, and then they were like, right, I still can't call it. And like, it was going, man, like for days, it was just going on, on, on. Like, like, I've, it got to the point, I was like, what is it actual beef? What is fucking like, no one afraid, and then like, yeah, it's because there's some underlying yeah, bullshit. That nobody you know what I mean? Was just about. Like, no, 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 you know, no. And that's the thing, man. If people just kept it 100 up front and was real with themselves first, there wouldn't be a lot of the shit going on. You gotta yeah, be but that's, your- that's, that's due to the power of perception and opinion because everybody's so worried about everybody else's fucking feelings and opinion that True. they end up not being their fucking selves. Right. And that's it, the worst thing in battle rap, hip hop, or anything, because now you don't have no originality or none of that shit. You, you're now from you're Carolina, just a, right, Cam? Yeah, yeah, I'm born and raised. Well, I'm saying it the best, don't he? I'm the same motherfucker on the internet that I am in real life. Exactly. Yeah, you know, from, from all the conversations we've had personally, Rich is the same exact motherfucker y'all see on here, same motherfucker y'all see in a battle, same motherfucker y'all see on Facebook, you, and you same motherfucker acted, you get personally. 
No, you've never acted different, and I don't think I've ever acted different to you. Like I, I consider. No, you that's what I'm saying. Guy. Like the the rich that y'all got right now, that's the same motherfucker I've talked in personal conversations with. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what everyone is. He's the same. That's the thing like that made me all. Yeah, that's what well, I mean. I've, I've, no, like Dev's the same. Dev been the same dude since day. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I never. Like I think you got to, especially with this, you just got to not take yourself that serious. Like I, I, I like fucking about. But like I said I'll jump no, freestyle. I'll mean, freestyle battles. So I'm just fucking around. Like, I don't. Yeah, like, I mean all the extra shit I'll like be, the trolling and shit. That's I'll the be, that's supposed I'll to be the fun part of it. Flows just because I'm fucking about the flows. I'll just go hey, let's yeah. like, do some funny oh. shit. Just because look, Cam a professional troll. <laughs> <laughs> he will get you in. You know what I'm saying? It's a different like. It's not like I'm jumping into something. When you get, no, when you sometimes you get. Uh, you know, right? Yeah. I've, got to, I've got to spit some fire so these these new. So I've got to that stage see. now that I don't really give a shit. I'll just jump in and like. I told my dude Anthony that I brought in. I was like, man, it's kind of like jail, bro. You're gonna walk in and get tested, okay? Mm-hmm. Gonna, like, <laughs> you know, bump up on you a little bit. And if you don't respond, you're going to hear a lot of shit. Yeah. You know, so I said, you better just go in there and just do what it is. <laughs> hey, you better respond solid, too, or you're still going to hear a bunch of shit. Yeah. Right. I mean, at least if you respond, then it's all right, but It's when people, like, they talk shit and they won't battle. But at least if they're humble and they're speaking weak, if, if they're not firing back and getting all out of pocket, man, th- then I can deal with You know what I mean? I can deal with it. I'm like, all right, well, at least he got tough skin. Well, I'm not going to mention it, but case in point, I think that's kind of why Rich said what he had to say about me being professional trolling and all. Um, <laughs> not going to say no names, but the other day, motherfucker almost got into a real situation because he jumped from the ch- group chat to my personal inbox. And I'm like, bro, are we trolling or are you really trying to get your ass beat? Like the fuck? Yeah, which, which I guess I'll go into my story off of that because we're on trolling and shit. Yeah, I, I I troll. It's one of the best ways to sell a motherfucking battle because the more shit you talk and the more people witness you talk that shit, the more the anticipation grows for that to happen on stage or online or wherever it's going to happen. Hey, Cam, I, I'm not trying to cut you off, but I think that's okay for, for, for you to do as a vet, but I think some of these newer people, when they come in, they get caught in the fact of trying to troll and promote so much that their fucking material is ass. You gotta live up to the hype. There's no point. Well, not just that, but with the inexperience of them, like yeah. with a lot of the rookies doing it, they have a bad problem. And I've, I've, I've still to this day, sometimes I'll catch myself with it, of confusing reality with trolling. Yeah. Because trolling, we might sound like we're ready to shoot each other in the fucking face when we see each other. Right. But it's to build for a battle. And right. a lot of people don't know how to take the shit and not really want to come see me in person. Right. And us as vets, though, like we understand that. But understand there's people that. that haven't went around a few states and traveled a little bit and done this shit don't realize, you know, I've walked into states dolo by myself. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm here. Like, and I have to put on that persona that I'm the same badass motherfucker I was in the battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it's not that I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But if, if I don't show that tough skin when I get there, they ain't going to believe in me. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's going like, to seem like everything you promoted yourself as is false. Exactly. And I'm not a false dude, man. I, I, I'm i not saying I'm the hardest person at all, but I'm telling you, like, and I've, I've always kept it rap. I'm like, when I get in the ring with you, it's a different story. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how we've always tried to play it, you know? So, um you just got people got to be able to separate the two and not worry so much about the trolling unless you are a vet like Cam or, or myself or uh, like to know that you can be prepared and back it up. If you're not ready to back it up, don't troll. Mm. You know say, what I mean? Like, if you're in a battle rap group chat, if you're in a battle rap page and you're talking shit to another battle rapper... Don't do it unless you're not actually. Well, no, I think if you're talking to a, if you're talking shit to another battle rapper, that means you're prepared. You're ready. Your battle. You're you've Either already. Way, you're ready. Ready. Like, you're fuck it, done. It, or it. you're in the process of doing. Right. It. That's you know how I see. I mean? But, but the, the people that do it most of the time haven't even wrote shit down. So they just want to I, I had to learn. I had to humble. Like, I had to, and I think this is where Chris Blessing like fails. 
is sometimes like everyone, you keep calling everyone out freestyle all the time. It's not a good look. You need to be able to prepare to use the pen as well because I had it before. Mm -hmm. I'd argue with people online and I'd be like, all right, fuck it. Right. Well, since we're on the, since we're on the subject the of rolling. Them out, but sometimes like when you overdo it and Chris, God bless him, <laughs> CWP, is a yeah, Oh, yeah. Right, right fuck it. Because the other person will go, all right, I'll battle. But I want to do it like... Yeah, I'm to be ready. honest with y'all, like freestyling yeah, is my like, worst ability. Down, you're a pussy, you're a pussy. You're not up for doing it right now. It's like, yeah, not everyone's a freestyler. Not everyone wants to do it. And that's what you got to remember, because that's when you... That's the problem I think I started as a freestyler, and then I've only gone into written in the last... A couple of years, but I'll that's Dev. I, I just started freestyling uh last year. The reason I started freestyling is because I, I choked on stage and I really bad, man. Like, I like I never had before. Is it like cannabis where you got like the, the fucking um, like reading? I, I told <laughs> myself, let me get my papers out of my pocket. It was <laughs> more reading. just a thing for myself. Like, I told myself, I was like, that will never happen again. If I ever happen to forget my shit or something, you know, um, now I was due to the fact that I was on some shit and I, I didn't sleep for a couple days. And these yeah. are not excuses. This is just the facts. Oh, no, no, I, to, well, I fucked up. I, I fucked up. Myself, I felt, you, know, you don't understand but, how you know, much I felt that right now. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is too, is that like, I told myself I will never let that happen again. And that's why I started freestyling. It will not be a time where I, if I forget my bars, I am still going somehow. I will find a way to attack you. Okay, yeah. Me, it was the opposite. I, I was made to write. I, I didn't want to write. When I went to, I think my first battle actually was on Bard, Thomas set out. I made you write. Andrew, Dre, Dre, fucking gangster, fucking hell. But he went, but even then, and then before I went to Joey as well, the same thing. They both went, right, if you're going to come, like, I know you can freestyle, but I actually want you to write. I want you to write for, I want to see if you can actually do something else apart from freestyle. And I was like, oh, and then I've done it and I'll shit at it and I'm still working on it. But like, that's the point. But sometimes you, you need that. Sometimes you do need that push. You need someone to go like, look, I know you're good at that. Why don't you do that? That's why I'm putting myself in all these situations where I, I'm doing topical battles. Like, I've never done topical battles. I do, I'm trying to start doing the diss tracks. That's my next day. But like, I'm trying to push myself to like areas that, I know I've got no experience in. And sometimes when you, it's not even that I've been pushed into it. Like, you know what I mean? Like everyone I know on here has got music. So that's my next step is to try and make some Dude. music. Cause I'm the only hey, person in that rapper I know. I'll be, I'll like, be honest hey, with you. Man. I, oh, go ahead, sir. Oh, my bad. Titan, on, well, on that note, what you saying that, can I drop some jewels for everybody? Yeah, um, what I'm gonna say is we've got five minutes of this one. We're gonna start another one, but yeah, you've got five, we've got five minutes. With, with what Titan was saying, with that being said, that's why I always urge everybody that raps. I don't care if you fucking do online freestyle. Really, I'm more or less talking to the people that don't freestyle. I don't care if you do rap music. I don't care if you do alternative hip hop. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you're just strictly writing for battles. You owe it to yourself to learn the art of freestyle. Once you learn the art of freestyle, nothing can ever go wrong because you have that ability in your back pocket and boom, I can do this now. And yeah, once I've you learn how to do that, whatever you're doing gets 10 times better. That's the best it's, way. Uh, a lot of times I'm going to tap in with y'all in a minute. My ride just got here. I will tap in with y'all in a minute. Yeah, we're going to win this right, anyway in a minute. We'll be like 10 minutes and then we'll do another one if everyone's up for it. We'll do another one. Uh, All right. I'm actually I'm going live on my page in five minutes uh, to do this drawing for the beat. Well, we're gonna we'll start to everyone. We can leave it here and then we'll we'll pick it up next week. We'll do a different topic next week. Or Although we'll I mean I wouldn't be. Wait. I'm just yeah. pulling up over there to do the to do the beat thing, but I'll be like just about 15 minutes. It ain't we'll gonna be like. That. All I'll do is I'll I'll tap back in in a bit. I'll finish this. Get it downloaded. Um, if um, you guys want to stop at my page, I mean, anybody here, I mean, has a chance yeah, yeah, to win a I'll beat, come, too. I'll come check so, it out. Let me just stop the... Yeah.